Welcome back uh, to Community Champions. Um, tonight we're talking to true champions in our community and these they are the representatives of Valence Community Sports Association. Now, um, if you live in Tower Hamlets, then no doubt you will know who Valence are. You know the, the work they deliver in the community and you'll definitely know the familiar faces of their volunteers and their coaches. Now, this brings me on nicely to uh, introduce two more new guests. I'll start this time with my left. Um, we have a young man, Rehan Yusuf. Assalamu alaikum. Rehan, how are you? I'm very good. Now, Rehan is also the son of another uh, footballer in our community, Hamid. So, if you're watching Hamid, your son's on the show with us. He's in Bangladesh. He's in Bangladesh, <laughs> so he's not watching, is he? <laughs> okay. Uh, Rehan, you are a, uh, a player and a volunteer. Yes. Okay? And a qualified ref. And the qualified ref? Yeah. <laughs> I did, I didn't, wow, I didn't know that. Let me write this down. I'll come back to you on that. And immediate on my right, I have uh, uh, another very familiar, very popular young man who was elected the young mayor of Tyre Hamlets. And uh, he's none other than Mahdi Alam. Mahdi, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm okay. You good? I'm very good, Mahdi. You know, good. <laughs> how does it feel to be the young mayor of Tyre Hamlets? Alhamdulillah, it's okay. It's good. Um, you I look the part. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love meeting new people and uh, I like representing young people. Um, that's what I'm passionate about. And football, obviously. And you're also a volunteer of Valence. Yeah, I mean, I've been playing for Valence since, what, I was nine years old. Um, with these guys, actually. Um, Rehan Yusuf actually um, introduced me to Valence. And ever since then, I've been playing and been going to games, training, and then um, recently, as I got older, I started um, coaching. Um, just helping on Saturdays. Yeah. <laughs> 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 just helping out on Saturdays, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Are you enjoying it? With Valence, of course, yeah. I'm enjoying it. I love every moment. The boys are good. The coaches are good as well. It's really good, yeah. Fantastic. Let me, let me start with um, Raihan. Raihan, well, how old were you when you started? Eight mm. years old. Eight? Yeah. Okay, and who introduced you to Valence? Well, do you know, do you know by first when I was at primary school, this was year four, year five, can't remember. He came to a school after school club, he saw my talent, <laughs> and then he said, <laughs> <laughs> Joey, what, what are you doing Saturdays, 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock? I was like, I don't do much. Like, why don't you come to our training session at Weaver's Field? And then I did. And then, obviously, now I'm under 18 now. You yeah, haven't looked back well. since then, eh? <laughs> nah. You've been part of the Valence establishment. Yeah, now yeah. I'm going to do some qualified ref. I'm qualified as a ref now, so I'm going to do... Tell me a bit more about that. When did you become a qualified ref? Well, Junobai obviously told me about the course that's available so yeah. I thought let me take it because if if the chance is there I should take it I won't ever get it again mm -hmm. like the way I got it free as well so oh, okay. Valis obviously put me through and then I took it and it's a three week course Saturdays so I had to give up three of my Saturdays and then I've done it and at the end it's an exam you have to get 80% over and that's 80? 80% yeah. okay so do you know so now that Rahan's a qualified referee what does that mean? Uh, <coughs> what standard, what level can he officiate? Well, like with all of our courses, it's always, there's always an outlet to it. Um, uh, we work in partnership with the Time of Sports Development. Uh, they email me saying that they want a representative from the club. Um, I emailed out all the boys and Rehan got back to me first. He said, look, and he asked me, Would, is, something, you know, he, is it good for him? And I said, yeah, it's perfect for you to go into. Um, so as I said, he's qualified level seven. He's going to do our under 12s from the winter on a Saturday. Explain that. Level 7. What is level well, 7? Le le Refereeing is different. It starts from level 7 and you work way up to 6, 5, 4, 3, so 2. So premiership referee or what? Stage level 1. Stage 1. Stage 1. So he's at stage 7. This is just for the benefit of the viewers. Yeah, yeah? so he's at stage 7. So <coughs> if he was to work a couple of months a year while he's refereeing, it should take him at least... Uh, tw tw by 23, they can reach yeah. stage 7, they said. So you know what, Iqbal? Mm -hmm. This is what... what what's quite fascinating because when it comes to sports and football we just think about people becoming footballers yeah we put all our in our hearts and soul in becoming uh, the you know, like you said the Messi and Ronaldo which is very difficult you know to, it's just not possible right no. because to reach that level this yeah, you have to go through huge you know 
difficulties and, and, and so on. So but but, there, the, but there are other. Yeah, no. Coming back to Rehan, uh, notice he's a nice boy, a bit short. Is <laughs> <laughs> so I, I looked at each pathway for each of the young people, what they can give back to the community, especially yeah. to Valence as well. And I thought, you know, when he asked me, is it something he should go for? And I said, yeah, definitely. But I can see him, right, even now, he does make decisions. He said, oh, that should have happened, that should have So I think the refereeing course was perfect for him. And ever since he's got it now, in the game with his decisions, he would correct me. Like, he would say, oh, no, that's that. And I said, how do you know? Oh, and then he to remind me then the referees because I thought, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so like you said, not everyone's going to be the messy, um, you know, yeah, the, the absolutely. superstar footballer. So there's other pathways, um, hopefully, which I talked to you about. But don't, don't forget, don't forget, out of, say, what, 60 million people in this country, only 2,000 people are professional footballers. Mm. Out of 60 million. Mm. Now, you know, the, <laughs> the possibility of you yeah. becoming a footballer rare. is very rare. Now, Iqbal, let's, let's talk about this profession. There are other avenues in the sports world that people can take up, like right hand. Yeah, definitely. Why couldn't we? Why can't we have people like right hand develop each year, progress, and go and referee in the uh, championship? I mean, that's that's the great um, and which is wonderful to see young people like right hand. You know, you should be we should be thinking of playing, like Mardi and China, not thinking about coaching. We when we were young, we never thought of going to be a coach. Mm. We think about playing football every Sunday or Saturday. Because you can see that level, you know, they're playing in the Kent Youth League, which is a very high prestigious league yeah. in the Kent. Kent Youth League? Yeah, yeah. League. Yeah. All the games are played. Home games we have in you know, Victoria Park, we won't everywhere. But when they go away, away games, they all the 80% all of the stadium right. games, all for stage, um, Step 4 and, um, and Step 5 um, teams, and even Ryman League team as well. Now, being a referee coach, which is for us, which is that would be a it will be an example for another youngster. I said, well, if I am going for that, I'll go for that. That's why I said to my under 10s and 9s, I said, look, when they reach 14, 15, 16, they have potential of what? Either being a football player or carry on playing, and plus as being a coach, either goalkeeping or referees and etc. And I'm sure in, in few years' time, or few, I mean, about two years' time, we'll be earning money on Sundays. Hopefully. You know, side pocket money, and not like disturbing his father and saying that. Yeah. And his father has been working that. And maybe in the f near future, we want to see him on our TV yes, screens, yes, refereeing. Yes. Inshallah. Now, Madhi, yes. you volunteer for Valence. Yeah. Why? Um, I've mentioned it a little bit before, but, um, you know, I started as a 10 year old. I was playing football, I enjoyed it, and then, you know, I like what these guys did for me. Um, I feel I've, gr I've grown up as a person, mm -hmm. I've matured, I've become, basically I wouldn't have been the person I am today without these guys. And wow. now I feel, now I'm, being, I'm being honest, um, we used to spend a lot of time, weekends, we used to have training on Saturdays and then Sundays we had games. So, you know, we, we saw each other a lot and, you know, you just learn stuff from them, there's so much to learn. And you know, it's from from, history. from, the, from everyone, from it's everyone. It's balance. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's, it's basically my, now it's uh, mine, Rehan, Shino. It's our time to give back to the younger kids, you know. Um, and what well, it's best to learn from those, from your peers, basically, and also giving it to the younger um, generation. Absolutely. For them to learn from you, because they see us as role models more than like these guys, because these guys are a bit more older. They're older, so, aren't yeah. they? <laughs> so yeah. Um, <laughs> Now, Mardi is one of those. Well, Mardi doesn't still look. Now, Mardi, we are same age, by the way. He doesn't know running for the. Boop 10k. Do you know what's the yeah. secret? Yeah. Looking. Boop 10k. <laughs> going, back to, <laughs> going back to uh, Mardi, yeah. Mardi is a very. Uh, no, um, so he's been very modest, in it, but it does come down to he's a very bright young boy. You know, we, I saw, we, that. Yeah. we knew that story as a young age, you know. Because I said they're literally like, uh, you know, I don't want to say it rude, but they're literally like our own kids. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's how we see yes. them. Because my son plays in the same team as these two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally watched them grow up. Uh, as you know, he's the young man. Two years ago, when we was approached by the council, Unicet, and we 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 uh, shot down to three people. I'm not gonna name the other two. <laughs> they're still a part of the organisation. But we thought Mardi ticked all the boxes. Mm. Okay, ac well, academically, sports-wise, you know, and, and then we left it up to him. We we. As much as we've done for him, we have two candidates as yeah, well. Yeah, oh yeah, by the way, Tanvi Raz as well. The deputy is a part of our. The deputy mayor was part of Valence as well. Okay. But you know, so we pushed him as much as we can, and then we left it up to him. Like you said, he, you know, he's got his studies. He volunteers for us. Plus, he's yeah. the young male Tanvi, which is a great role model uh, to our younger members that do watch at him. Um, but it's like with everyone in our organisation, you know, we're there to guide them. 
Mm. You know, that's as far as, you know, and then we give opportunities, you know, again, of, with our projects, we give them opportunities to do other stuff. So that's how they... Let, let, let me go back to Madhi, because yeah. uh, since we've got this opportunity, quickly tell me about your role as a, as yeah, a young as mayor of Hamas. <laughs> Why is that? Um, okay, so... As young mayor, we represent the young people um, from Tower Hamlet, um, not just um, to councillors to um, you know solve our issues, but also uh, on a national stage. So um, my team, which is, which consists of myself, uh, Tamirazo, who's a deputy, as well as Sonia Begum, who's another deputy, we have um, national meetings with the UK Youth Parliament, okay. and um, I think we meet up we meet up once every three months. Um, that's as a whole, I, mm. all the young men, all the, young the, the country. Uh, member of youth parliament. So we all meet okay. up. So usually um, it's in different places. So we have to travel to Leeds on a weekend, or um, I'm not too sure what the other one is. Um, but yeah, we okay. we just go there and uh, you know we just give feedback. Oh, young people from our from our area, from our institute. Um, these are the issues that we face, and it's quite it's quite amazing how. Um, Obviously, we're based in London, our borough, but uh, we meet so many people, people from, you know, Glasgow. It's literally a UK thing. Yeah. So they, some of the issues they face is like, oh, um, you know, we have transport issues going to school. And we're like, <laughs> we don't. We just have like a 25 bus or Oyster and we can just go. So oh, we just walk it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a contrast. <laughs> so but it's, it's amazing meeting new people. And yeah, I it's think given it's, you a lot of experience. Yeah, yeah? it has given Open me a your lot eyes. of experience. Yeah, definitely. It's just opened what? Well, um, you know, the career path that we want to go into and how having a career is and how difficult so it how is. how about running for the mayor next year? To be honest, um, <laughs> not yet. Yeah. I haven't matured enough yet. <laughs> Let's just put it there. Okay, that's brilliant. I, I think um, this is really encouraging to, to know that members of Valence at this very young age have taken such responsibilities, you know, in their community. Yeah. And, it's, you know, it's just a... Uh, uh, you know, just has to say this is the wonderful work Valence is doing in creating these young people. Like you said, was it you or you who actually said that you want them to become good citizens of yes, the society? Yeah. And this is this is prime example. Mm-hmm. You know, now guys, quickly, let's talk about other projects of Valence. Yes. Um, well, as you know, Valence, as we started off as just a football club in 2001, uh, we're very fortunate to have our trustees, very nice people. They're still a part of it. Shul Ahmed. Muhammad uh, Islam, uh, Nuruddin, uh, Kamaluddin, and Abdul Shahin, all were football players like us. And then once it become that age, we thought, you know, had they wanted to stay part of the Muslim Association. Yeah. So become yeah. a trustee, you know, do all the work. 2009, we set up the Valence Community Sports Association, which uh, we had a cricket team and we started had three football teams. In 2006, um, I was very fortunate, I got a big grant and I become full time. So I was dedicated all my time to the organization as a project yeah. manager. and. Free, uh, that was in 2006. 2006, yes. Yeah. Uh, before that, it was all volunteer time. By me. Uh, three major projects we run is a community sports program, which consists of our football, which is 10 football teams, our Saturday coaching program. Age groups? Age, age groups 10, from reception all the way up to senior level. Uh, we're going to have a veterans team, hopefully, which I just about qualify. Yes. <laughs> let's, let's take a call. We've got okay. a caller online. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Hello, caller. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? No. Okay, please call back again. When you do call, please remember to turn your volume down of your television because otherwise you won't be able to hear me, I won't be able to hear you. Okay, so please call back. Sorry, Gino, come in. Yeah, uh, community sports, like I said, consists of uh, 10 football teams from under 10s all the way up to senior level. Uh, we in that program is cricket and other sports, it depends on funding that we get. The community sports. The community sports program. Yeah. That includes, again, uh, after school coaching, which Rahim's talking about, we work in quite a few schools in the borough. Um, and we've got our volunteers program, which is, again, the program that we get the young people when they turn the age of 16, uh, they come and do courses with us, and in turn they volunteer their time with us. Uh, hopefully we get them qualified. Is there a time scale for the volunteering? Volunteers, they sign on for one year and then they okay. renew it every year. So we keep, you know, like every one of our minor 18 players are volunteers for the organisation. They give a certain amount of time and again, depending on funding, if we get enough funding, they coach and they get paid for it as well. So mm-hmm. on weekends they can work for us. Uh, then we have the, the major program, which is the SN Health Development Project, which is uh, for disability. A fantastic project. This is the sixth year now. Tomorrow we've actually got our sports day in the Marlin Stadium. 
massive event where we have over 250 people turning up, uh, out of the 250, 150 are participants with special needs. Um, we work with some wow. brilliant organizations in the bar, Upper Senf Tower Project. Is this one of its kind? It's, it's, a, it's a major project in the borough now. The Sports Development Team of Tahamlitz endorsed it, plus uh, the current mayor's been three times now. Um, we've got councillors come in, local councillors come in to give out medals. He said it's a major one. I, we personally think it's you know, one of the best in the borough, plus Redbridge saw what we did and they actually took us as an organisation to do their one. Really? We did a Redbridge one yeah, on Thursday, so exactly similar to the Tahamlitz oh, one. Oh, fantastic. The, again, the SM project is uh, similar to uh, the normal strategy, uh, generic program we have is we, we go into the schools and do a bit of coaching and then Monday we have in the Milan State um, Sports Centre where the groups come in, uh, basically it's open to them, whatever sports they want to do, we've got our four coaches there. And they Let me interrupt you there. one more time. Let me okay. tell Let's see who's on the line. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Yeah, yeah. Who's calling? Hello. I just wanted to find out how old they have to be to join the football club. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Salam. Can I just find out how old they have to be to join? Sister, can you can you put your uh, turn your volume down of your television? Yes, sister. Assalamu alaikum. I'll put your message. Um, basically, you have to be um, a year one, and especially with the reception, if the child is very uh, mature and understands, and it comes end of uh, reception, and so we will welcome you. You know, come along, and um, we do Saturday every Saturday at Wiversfield from two to four, and. Um, and then we go up to year one, two, three, four, and up to you know senior level. So from reception to any level. Any level. Okay. Did, was that okay? Did you get the information? If you go on our website, www.valencesa.co.uk, you get more information there, and you got my you get my email address. You can email me, and I'll pass on the information to so you. So what's it? www.valencesa.co.uk. Co.uk. Okay, so sister, yes, if you, if you have children that you would like them to be involved with Valence, please get in touch with either Janelle or Iqbal or visit the website, call their office, yep. and I mean, please, you know, take your children there because they will benefit. Saturday is a big session, you can see that, I'm 120 kids wow. with 10 coaches, and um, especially when I say my full-time job, I work for special needs, I'm a day centre officer. And Saturday, I feel more pressure than my days in the world because if one of the coach phones me, he's not well, another one says he has to go somewhere. Yeah, then he's stuck. Yes, I'm stuck. So it's, it's a lot of pressure. You won't miss his sister or whoever's watching at Wiversfield if you see 120 kids training. And you know, welcome. Come along and talk. Wiversfield in Beston Green, just off uh, Valence Road, isn't it? Yeah, Valence Road. Yeah, yeah. It is Valence Road. Okay. Now, the um, special education needs project. Now, yeah. Who refers those individuals to you? The, well, as I said, it's, this is our sixth year in this pro, uh, program, and we're very fortunate. As a, well, uh, that's his work. He works in special education needs department uh, for Blue Skies. Um, he introduced us. He got us involved, saying, "Look, why don't we do it for okay. Open Air?" And then I started to email it out, and organisations have called in. Like, it's very rare at the time for an organisation to actually provide that. Absolutely. And, you know, yeah. when I was getting calls from certain organisations saying, no, this has never happened before, you know, they, could, they couldn't believe what we were providing. We said, yeah, it's free of charge, you know, this is what you do, come along, we've got our coaches there, and as I said, and our volunteers help out, and it's, wow. said, it's six years. So you're gonna, we're going to have two years, we've got over 200 medals, and um, especially when I say, it touches my heart, after the sports day, you see them taking the medals. For them, it's just over the world. Yeah. And, and then when I see the following day, the Shamik Paul, I won that medal. For them, it's so big. We win so, so many trophies. That's why I think it's been, that not been recognized in the community like yeah, the yeah. sports day. That's why I come into it, I have a meeting with Hamlets to see if we can give you a funding to run this session. Now, we can so well now. We but let me just take another call, sorry, yeah? Go ahead. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Walaikum Islam. Yes, sister. Uh, would you like to speak to? Um, I'm from Valence FC, and I think the coach had been doing really well, and I and I think the coaches are the best coaches in the world. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> That's fantastic. How long have you been with Valence? I've been in Valence for three years. Three years. Yes. Okay, and uh, which age group are you in? I'm in the 
I'm with the year six, year seven, and year eight with Hamid and Shuad. Okay. And do you enjoy playing with Valence? I really enjoy it. I really want to continue playing with Valence. Okay. And do you want to become a footballer or do you want to become a referee? I really want to become a footballer. Okay. I think I can be a, I think I can be a footballer because um, Valence is really good. So our coaches are really good and they can teach me really good. Fantastic. And... Um, and it's really good and um Hisham, is Hisham, you've just won the under 12 cup, ELE cup in the dome. Um, um, I, I'm afraid I didn't go to the uh, cup. You didn't go to the cup, okay. Thank you very much for, the, for calling in and keep on playing with Valence. Now, th this is quite, you know, encouraging. Because uh, let me let me take another call and we'll we'll talk. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Hello. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Hi. Yeah. I just want to say that I've been with Valence for like a very long time. Yeah. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, I just want to say that I've been with Valence since I was six years old. Was a bit great help to me. Can I can I ask your name? My name is Sadiqur Rahman. Sadiqur Rahman, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Great. You can speak to them. They're here. Iqbal's here, Jinal's here, Raihan's oh, here, okay, Madi's yeah. here. Sadiqur's um, in place uh, with this guy in under 18. Yeah, very, again, a very talented uh, young boy. Mm -hmm. Very modest. He's one of those um, in the borough that he's got a very bright future in football. I think he's doing his um, B Tech in sports, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he's doing his. He's going to a sports college. Sports well, let's ask him. He's on the mic. Sadiqul, what are you doing? How's your college going, Sadiqul? No, no, I'm doing A-levels. No, no, I'm doing A-levels. Yes, yeah, it is. A-levels? Yeah, yeah. I'm, doing, I'm doing chemistry, biology, physics, and math. Oh, well, fantastic. <laughs> well, okay. Same Completely as you. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what you well, said. Guys. What college do you go? I go Cambridge if you want. So, Sadiqul, so you enjoy playing with Valence? You enjoy being part of them? I love playing with Valence. Fantastic. I love it. <laughs> Thank you very much for your call. Thank you very much. much. Yes. Very enthusiastic. Yep. Okay. Uh, dear viewers, we've <coughs> come to the end of the second segment. Uh, we have to take another short break, so please stay with us, uh, where we'll be talking about Valence future projects and their aims and objectives in the next four or five years. So please join us after the break. Thank you.